All right, now recently WhatsApp introduced a brand new feature called Fingerprint Unlock, using which you can lock the WhatsApp application on the phone. Anyone having an access to phone will not be able to open WhatsApp because you have set a fingerprint unlock on that. Only you will be able to open the application. Now to enable this feature, all you need to do is just tap on a three dot button on the top, go to the settings. Now here, tap on privacy. At the bottom, you'll see fingerprint lock. Just enable this feature to lock WhatsApp on your phone. The next feature is chat lock. Now this is a brilliant privacy feature introduced by Meta on WhatsApp. Now we will be able to lock a particular chat and unlock it by entering the password on the search bar. Now let me show you how to do this. Just open a particular chat, tap on the profile, scroll all the way down, you will see an option chat lock. Now enable this chat lock. This will lock and hide this chat on this device. When you scroll down on the chat list, you might still be able to see the lock chats on the top. Now to disable this, all you need to do is just open that particular lock chat. You will see this three dot button on the top right corner. We have got chat lock settings. Just tap on that. Now here we have got a cool option called secret code. Now you can set your own secret code and to enable or to uh, unlock a particular chat, all you need to do is just enter that secret code you have set on the search bar. As soon as you enter the secret code, you'll be able to unlock those chats which you have locked. That is just fantastic, isn't it? Next, we'll be able to use multiple WhatsApp account on the single application on the phone. All we need to do is just tap on the three dot button, tap on settings, and go to the profile. You see the profile right on top and you will see this option on the top right. Just tap on that, you will see an option to add a particular account. Just tap on add. This will prompt you to add another account from a different contact number. That's it, you can switch between different accounts on a single WhatsApp application on your phone. That is just amazing, isn't it? Now let's move to the next feature. This is called calendar search. Now searching chats on WhatsApp is not that easy. When we key in a specific word, it's gonna show the entire search results and we cannot uh, filter it by dates. But with this new feature, we will be able to filter the chats by selecting a specific date. Now let me show you how exactly this works. Now let me open a particular chat. I'll tap on the three dot button. We have got the search option here. Now on the top right, you see we have got this all new icon. Select a specific day. You will be able to see all the chats from that particular day. Now this is a new feature introduced by Meta on WhatsApp recently. And this feature may not be available on all the phones. Maybe on WhatsApp beta, this is currently available. And it will eventually come to the stable version as well. Let me know if you have received this feature on your WhatsApp. Drop a comment. Now the next tip is starting a conversation with an unsaved contact number. Yes, this feature was recently introduced by Meta on WhatsApp. Uh, we'll be able to directly chat with someone who was not, whose contact is not saved on your WhatsApp. Earlier, this was not possible. You had to save a particular contact and then start the chat. But now, all you need to do is just tap on new message icon at the bottom right, tap on search and key in the contact number. If that contact number is available on WhatsApp, you will be able to see chat icon on the right. You can just tap on this to start the conversation. Now make sure you do not have the country code added on the top and sometimes with the country code, uh, it will reflect. So you will have to be wary of that. You can try both with or without country code and then start the conversation without saving the contact number. The next step is pinning a particular chat on a particular contact. For this, all you need to do is open a particular chat. And let's say you want to pin a particular message here. Just press and hold on that. Tap on the three dot button on the top. You will see an option pin. When you pin this, that particular text or that particular message will be pinned on the top. You can pin it for 24 hours, seven days or 30 days. And you can pin only one particular message at a time. So if you try to pin another message, the previously pinned message will disappear and the new message will get pinned. Again, this feature is recently introduced, so I'm not very sure if this is arrived on the uh, stable version of WhatsApp or not. Currently, I have the beta version. So some of the features which I'm discussing in this video might be available only on the beta version. So be wary of that. If you do not have a beta version and currently running on stable variant, you may or may not see these features. That is something to keep in mind. The next step is linking a device. Now let's say you have installed the WhatsApp on one particular phone and you want to use the same WhatsApp account on another phone, then all you need to do is just tap on this three dot button on the top. You've got an option called linked devices. You'll be able to link another phone or another tablet by using this particular feature. All you need to do is tap on link a device. It will prompt you to scan the QR code or add the contact number on which you want to use this particular account. As simple as that. Next, we will be able to send 
send the photos or videos in HD format with the all new WhatsApp now. Whenever you want to attach a video or photo, all you need to do is tap on this HD button on the top. You will get two options, standard quality and HD quality. If you select the HD quality, you will be able to send the media in a higher resolution. That's a brilliant feature we have now on WhatsApp. The next step is editing a particular message which you have already sent. Now let's say you have written something to someone and you want to edit it after sending it, you will be able to do it now. All you need to do is just press and hold on the message that you have already sent, tap on the three dot button, we have got an option edit. When you edit it and send it, the receiver will see the edited message. That is a cool feature indeed. The next one is undo reactions. Now let's say you have reacted to a particular message on WhatsApp, you will be able to undo that or delete that reaction. All you need to do is tap on the reaction that you have already sent, you will see this reaction icon on the right hand side, just tap on that, that reaction will disappear on the receiver screen. That's how you do it. Okay, now we have got this audio message button at the bottom right. When you press and hold on it, you will be able to send the recorded audio to someone. Now we can also assign video option for this particular icon here. All you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on chat. Now here you will see an option instant video messages. This lets you tap to switch between using voice and video message. If you have enabled this, you can just tap on this icon to switch to video message or you can switch back to the audio message again by tapping on the same icon. That's another brilliant feature we have got on WhatsApp. The next feature is again about privacy. Now we will be able to protect our IP address when you are on a video call or on audio call. Now to enable this, all you need to do is just go to the privacy settings. At the bottom, you will see an option advanced privacy setting. Now just tap on that. It says protect IP address in calls. Just enable this toggle. This is gonna make it harder for people to infer your location, calls on the device. This will be securely relayed through WhatsApp servers. Now this may also reduce call quality. So you need to choose between call quality or protecting your IP address. Now these are some cool tips and tricks for WhatsApp users out there. Let me know how many of you have got all these features on your WhatsApp because this is currently available on the beta version of WhatsApp and some of the features have already arrived on the stable version as well. So drop a comment and let me know which are the features out of these which I have discussed in this video are available on your WhatsApp version. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in this particular wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. You can go ahead and check that out uh, and download it. Every video that I post will have a brand new wallpaper so if you are into customization you can check out these videos and uh, probably the past videos as well you'll be able to find some beautiful looking wallpapers and uh, the widget links are also given in the description go ahead and download them if you're interested in kwgt widget packs that's about it if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to the channel we are inching closer to 100k subscribers and without your support this is not possible so be sure to subscribe and uh, smash the thumbs up button if you like this video that's about it thanks for watching my name is salian signing off Cheers. Bye-bye.